Hello friends. Today I'd like to show you an update on seeds that were part of the giveaway. Here are two weeks old, old sprouts from Adenium broccoli. I planted six seeds, four sprouted. And these two are completely albino. They might be alive another two weeks or so, but then they will perish because they have no chlorophyll. They don't produce energy from light. And these two, with proper care, would become beauties like this. So let me show you. Like this, if not pruned, or like this, if pruned certain way, or like this one if pruned different way or like this one if Pruned yet a little different way, whichever way you want to style it, you'll have it. Okay, so that's my report on two weeks old seedlings of broccoli, and here I planted six seeds of micro broccoli four sprouted just like here also four out of six sprouted here four sprouted of micro broccoli three are regular and one is pale but it's not like this it's just somewhat pale um, usually this type uh, turn green gradually, rarely this type turn variegated, that will be something. And also rarely this one would, per this type would perish because it new growth becomes complete albino but that's not usually so here most likely i'm gonna have a four plants of micro broccoli out of six seeds once you get the sprouts to this stage uh what's important is because they're so young so big percentage of their roots are feeding roots uh, that you don't overwater. That's the reason why I'm sifting carefully the perlite to get the dust away to have only particles about three millimeters in size or a little bit bigger because if they're a lot bigger there's too much air, they dry. If they're smaller, if there is dust, they rot. So that's why it's important. Roosters are kaka doing, they're agreeing with me. That's why it's important not to overwater at this stage because the roots can rot. Once they're older, if it's hot, 
once in a while over watering it's not endangering their life because if some feeding roots die of rot a new ones will grow and in meanwhile the plant has so much storage of a nutrients in thick roots and thick trunk that it just waits for the feeding roots to grow for new feeding roots to grow the thin roots anyway back to the micro broccoli it kind of looks like the broccoli or like any other um, adenium sprouts at this stage but later on uh, micro broccoli looks very unique way let me show you later on hello lizard how are you later on it looks like this I'll put my hand for scale with a very pale leaves wow this lizard is not moving lizard you're replenishing the warmth in a morning sun huh? that's what they do they like to um, they like to warm themselves up in the morning oh. okay anyway later on they look like this and afterwards they look like this but some of them like this but most of them like this and they gra they can be grafted and when grafted they look like this this is a pretty fresh grafting V grafting or wedge grafting where the graft didn't heal yet. Its graft is quite visible. And as you can see, the twigs grow relatively crowded and relatively upward. And later on they can be tinted inside and uh, the bigger ones wired downward then it'll look like this you can see this is a freshly wired where I took the little twigs from middle up to make a wider crown okay here I put it away from other plants so you can see it better and here is a feather for a scale micrografting micrografted adenium Micrografted means that I took a little sprout and grafted. Micrografted micro broccoli type of desert rose. And here I put it on front of a black background that you might better see the silhouette the black background is from a chalkboard paint that I painted this thing with a special chalkboard paint here it is you might not know that it exists you buy one of these and then anything you paint with it 
that is smooth becomes a chalkboard that your little grandchildren can uh, draw on. Such a chalkboard can even become a checkerboard or chessboard. Anyway, back to the silhouette of a micrographed microbroccoli. Um, I am wiring it lower than is reasonable because my experience with wiring of a desert rose plant is that once the wire is taken away, it'll come back very much. Um, maybe because it's not a woody plant. It's kind of like a cucumber or zucchini, you know, very watery. I don't know why, but uh, it only results in partial widening of a crown, this kind of wiring. Okay, so that's the end of my report. Two weeks after planting four out of six seeds sprouted here. Four out of six seeds sprouted here. Adenium seeds, in my experience, with my clinic uh, climate conditions, rarely sprout after two weeks so this is two-thirds sprouted goodbye friends